What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ24 Focusing on the Anaheim Ducks Calgary Flames series preview as the two teams are set to face off in the first round of the Western Conference uh, playoffs. Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm so Western Conference. First round of the Western Conference finals, yeah. That's like the first day of the rest of your life. Um, obviously, Anaheim won, what, their fifth straight Pacific Division. But it's funny, out of those, those five straight Pacific Division titles, five Pacific Division teams have gone to the Stanley Cup final. Or three three Pacific Division teams have gone to the Stanley Cup final. Not one of them was Anaheim, LA twice, and San Jose last year. I hope in game one, Corey Perry is lined up at his right wing spot, looks over to the left wing lined up against him, and sees himself in the mirror in terms of Matt Kachuk. That's going to be my first takeaway. Because... This young Flames team, this is kind of a hot take. There are pieces that remind me a lot of Anaheim not too long ago. Kachuk is a young Corey Perry. You know, I thought he was, he was going to be young Marshawn. He's going to be better than Marshawn, although Bad Brad's had 39 goals this year. Um, you know, you look at what kind of productivity they got from Kachuk as a rookie. 48 points in 76 games. A lot of fucking penalty minutes. He pissed a lot of people off all year. It makes that team incredibly difficult to play against. I mean, this kid is for real. NHL bloodlines are, are a real thing. Going a step further, Calgary, I thought a few years ago, needed that big Western Conference center that plays in all situations. Well, they got it. His name is Sean Monahan. He came from within. Um, and, you know, he's gotten better every year. He's been in the show. And 58 points in 82 games is nothing to shake a stick at. This kid is the truth. And I was the last person outside of his family to shake his hand before he got outside of his family and friends to shake his hand before he got drafted by the Flames. So credit to, credit to CJ on that one. Michael Backlund played like a solid top, you know, two center this year. You know their productivity from their their forwards was phenomenal. Although Johnny Goodrow, only 61 points a season. What a bum! Damn it, he led the team in scoring. He, he's he's not he's not that good. Like he's small. Is he, are we sure he can handle the 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 NHL? The kid's the real deal. Those four, those get that young forward core, and then you add in guys like Sam Bennett and Furland that you know both give you something unique. Um, it's it's for real, and their defense is excellent. Dougie Hamilton, quietly, 50 points this year, quietly a sleeper like you know top six or seven Norris candidate. Yeah, nobody was really talking about him. Mark Giordano, 39 points. We know what he is. Um, you know, you factor in, you know, guys like a TJ Brody, like a Dennis Weidman, you know, the Wiley Vets, and you get yourself a pretty interesting hockey team here. And, uh, you know, I think they're going to be a very, very tough out. And uh, Brian Elliott, you know, had a kind of a lousy start to the season, but turned it around, uh, you know, in terms of goaltending. So that's your Calgary Flames. The Anaheim Ducks obviously gets laughing Perry. You know, Perry had a lousy year, headline every topic of conversation. Corey Perry had a lousy year by his standards. Let's let's differentiate. Um, Brian Kessler, still one of the best second line centers in the league at 32, 58 points a season, plays in all situations. You know, he was brought to Anaheim to fill a role, and he he did that, you know, to a T this season. Raquel, quiet, quiet 33 goals. No one's talking about that. And then uh, Patrick Eves coming over at the deadline, 11 goals in 20 games, you know, to continue his kind of weird renaissance here, I guess you call it. Um, so their forwards are good. You know, they got a lot of lot of grit up there, too. I think Richie is – I like Nick Richie, even though he's kind of suspended for game one. Um, I watched him play last year in San Diego, and he's with the goals, and he's – he's a big boy. And he doesn't mind putting his nose into shit, which you kind of need in the playoffs. Um, you know, and again – some of the younger guys, like Kat, Andre Cassie, um, you know, Silverberg's not really a younger guy, but he had a quiet, you know, another quiet 23 goals. Um, so that's that's a team that I, I forward group that I really like. Um, on defense, obviously Cam Fowler was hurt, got hurt in a game against the Flames. We'll talk about that in a second. But their young D is phenomenal. You know, you look at you know Sami Vatanen, Hampus Lindholm, you know Brandon Montour, Shea Theodore, you know all these guys who have you know, they're 25 and under that have done these great things all year long and have really showed that they're wise beyond their years and Anaheim's going to have some tough decisions to make in terms of the uh, expansion draft with their young defensemen. But I think they'll figure it out. It's 
they know they know what they're doing. Um, I, what Fowler's status is for the playoffs, I don't know, and it's not my place to speculate. It's just not so. That's going to be something to keep an eye on over the next you know, few days. Uh, and John Gibson had one of the had the highest save percentage in franchise history. So, you know, his time has arrived. You know, it took the Freddie Anderson trade and some other things to happen, but he is a legitimate number one goal center in the National Hockey League. And uh, Anaheim is lucky that they've been patient with his development. And patient's kind of a, a relative word. I mean, they they rushed him and then had to kind of work backwards, if you will, because developing goalies isn't the uh, you know, a straight line. It's, it goes around and around and around and around because that position, like the people that play it, tend to be pretty weird. Um, so all that being said, I think the Calgary Flames will pull off the upset in this series. This will be Calgary's second playoff series win in since 2004 and their fifth since 1989. It's not that I dislike Anaheim. It's that I really like what Calgary's done this season. I like watching that team play. I like what they're all about. And I think we're going to continue to see that this this series. You know, their young talent is for real. And their time has come. And they will, I think, upset a veteran lad and a Ducks team. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.